the Liz Cheney defeat is making all sorts of news. And uh, you were in Republican politics for a long time before you became education secretary. So you know something about, you know, wins and losses and what they mean. The left wing press is calling her a martyr. They're talking about a presidential run for Liz Cheney. She went down in flames by 30 points to her Trump back opponent for this congressional seat. And I really wonder, first of all, what your reaction is to her loss, but also why you think she lost? Well, uh, it's a very good question. Um, I think that uh, originally um, her work to really look into January 6th and all of the happenings that day um, was a, a very valid pursuit, but I feel like she um, continued to make it more and more about herself. And then, um, you know, the, the race in, in Wyoming, her home state, uh, it became clearer and clearer that, um, it, it, the national, uh, everything that was going on nationally was going to sort of supersede everything going on there. And I just, uh, I, I feel sorry for her personally, but um, I, you know, this is, this is, I think an instructive uh, time for all Republicans. You know, I, I for one have been involved many years and I've always been one looking through the windshield to the next election. Republicans need to be focused on the policies that Joe Biden and his administration have been laying on this country. And uh, the people in, in America are suffering under their policies. We need to be attacking those policies and uh and and framing up debates and issues around policies that are going to matter to uh, families at the kitchen tables across America we need to be looking ahead uh, not in the rearview mirror and I think it's a it, again another an instructive moment for Republicans uh, across the country there was a CNN poll not long ago uh released late July that found 36, just 36 percent of Republicans believe January 6th was a crisis or a major problem. That's down seven points since February, since, you know, we've had eight hearings on this in prime time, some of them and so on. So this is not resonating with Republican voters. And Liz Cheney is the face of it. Um, do you think, you know, because you say she made it about her. Do you think she forgot what actually is important? to voters in Wyoming, things like inflation uh, and gas prices and so on, as opposed to just, you know, a never ending obsession with what, of course, was a bad, bad day. But, you know, was it the worst day? Was it the day that deserves all this critical coverage forevermore, primetime hearings and so on? I'm getting the feeling that Wyoming voters didn't think so. Well, I think Wyoming voters didn't think so. And I think voters in states all over the country are focused on the issues that they're facing every day. As you said, higher prices for all of their groceries, higher gas prices, um, higher prices for everything across the board. And then not to mention all of the other policies that are impacting families, um, such as the continued uh, politicization of everything to do with schools. Um, you know, the last two years have really laid bare all of these issues and fer parents have had a front row seat. And those are some of the things that, you know, I talk about in the book, but um, they're, they're more real to parents today than they ever were before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And uh, those are the things that are on the minds of voters. We're seeing it in primary races all over the country. So that's, this is exactly what I want to talk about. This is what I think her problem was. OK, she she didn't like January 6th. I mean, there are very few people who liked January 6th. OK, and and it, it definitely deserves some scrutiny. We have to figure out exactly who did it and why and how, how cops got hurt and so on. However, <laughs> the view on Trump, especially with some distance and, you know, a couple of years under Joe Biden, I think is shifting pretty rapidly to his policy successes, especially now that we don't have his tweets every day and so on, right? It's like he's back in the news because of the raid this week. But I do think people are starting to see the difference in policy between his administration, which you were a part of, and the Biden administration, which we're living under right now. And I think there's like, we get it, January 6th, it's not getting, it's getting outsized coverage versus the BLM riots and all everything else that we went through during those years. But we're focused on, really catastrophic things right now from the numbers, the economic numbers to, yes, absolutely what's happening to our children on a daily basis under this administration in the schools and around just general children issues, health care and so on. So it, it gets to the point where you're like, do you understand what we care about 
Get over your obsession with this one terrible day. Move on to the things that will affect me and my children. Well, we've seen in uh, primary contests all across the country, the things that are on voters' minds are those issues that are impacting them daily. And the one that I've been closest to, education, is uh, top among them, uh, only second to inflation and all the impa impacts of inflation. And these are policies that uh, Joe Biden and his administration and all of his uh, you know, colleagues in Congress have been um, laying heavily on Americans that are unhappy about what they're doing. And we have got to stay focused on beating Democrats and winning for Republican policies and Republican um, issues this fall. So as everyone starts to go back to school over the next few weeks, do good by helping feed children who are facing hunger and food insecurity. Our partner, Good Ranchers, is on a mission to donate 100,000 high-quality meals to young children who often go unfed or who are malnourished from poor access to nutritious food. You can join this campaign by ordering a box of 100% American meat. Every order contributes meals to the cause and makes a huge difference in the lives of these children. Good Ranchers is an award-winning food delivery service that brings 100% American meat and seafood to your door. They source the best of American farms so that you can get the highest quality food possible and trust what you are feeding your family every time. Go to GoodRanchers.com slash Megan to join the movement today. You will get $30 off your order, free shipping, and donate food to children in need. Giving back never felt or tasted so good. Let's help them hit and pass their goal of 100,000 meals donated. Go to GoodRanchers.com slash Megan. Megan, that's M-E-G-Y-N. You can just use the code at checkout if you prefer. Change the future one meal at a time with Good Ranchers. GoodRanchers.com slash Megan. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.